Let's now look at how we can set up a shared folder within a NAS. I'm going to be using a QNAP NAS in this video, but you can use any NAS that you have. And we're going to create this folder for the Home Assistant backups. Then we're going to link Home Assistant back to this folder. And then after that, we're going to look at how can we actually do uh, an external backup, for example, to Google Drive. Navigate to the control panel. Click on shared folders, click on create shared folder. And here we're going to put the name. So I'm going to call it home assistant backup. We can use any disk volume that we want. I'm going to be picking this standard disk volume over here. The path will be set automatically. That's fine. I don't need any encryption. So I'm just going to go uh, next. So as you can see by default, admin has read and write and all the other users have uh, no access. So we want the Home Assistant user to be able to access it so it can actually write and uh, delete these potential uh, files. So we've got read only. So what we do is we want to enable read and write for these users. So we can click next. So a couple of options here around what the guests can do and other type of encryption. So I'm just going to leave everything as is and I'm going to come back to this if uh, this doesn't work well. So we are all set up. So click OK. OK, now that we've created our shared folder for Home Assistant backups, I'm sometimes a bit, a bit of a geek. I like having underscores uh, just because I don't want these things to break and you never know. Blank spaces normally are not great when you're having stuff communicating between computers, but leave that up to you. Anyway, go back into Home Assistant and go to your um, system and then click on storage. And then you have this uh, no connected storage network. So this button here, add the network storage is what you need. So I'm just going to call this NAS. If you have multiple NASs, you can uh, give them multiple names. Just be careful. You can't have a, a blank space in this name. So it has to be something like this. The usage I'm setting up, uh, setting up as a backup usage. The server, this is going to be the server, so the IP address of your NAS. And I would suggest that your NAS, if you haven't done that already, is set at an IP, a static IP address. So this is the address um, for my NAS, your one will be different. Click on the Samba uh, Windows uh, protocol. Even if you don't have Windows, don't worry, it'll still work. My Mac um, is what I'm using, so don't worry, don't stress. Remote share, so this is going to be the name of the share, so the name of the folder, so Home Assistant Backups. And then we're going to need our username and password that we set up um in QNAP. So this is your so my username is Home Assistant and then I just reset the password again and I can click connect. Now that this is connected you can see your NAS storage over here. If you click on it again it'll give you an option to edit it. You can't change its name at this stage but you can delete it and re, re uh recreate it if you want to. So let's go to our backups now. Now let's click on the three dots and change default backup location. Now this has already been uh, changed for me. You can see over here. So now instead of using the disk space on the Home Assistant server, each backup will be on the NAS itself. So let's test it out. So the folder is completely empty now. I'll refresh and I'll prove to you that it's still empty. So going to Home Assistant, so we're gonna click Create Backup. Now I'm just gonna do a partial backup just for the speed of it, right? This is not a full backup, and I'll talk about this now in a moment. So we just create backup. You see the backup, we've got a name here. The size of the backup is very small. Location is NAS. You can see these are on data disk. And if we go over here and I refresh, we've got our beautiful backup over here with the timestamp and the relative size. So what we can do now is, is that we can create a full backup. So click on create backup and then go and say, type your backup name. I normally use the current date, which is always a, a good idea. And I always type them in this format, which is year, 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 month, month, day, day. And then I just put full. So I know this is a full backup. I can create the full backup. And now this is going to take a while, depending on how big your system is and what you've got running on it. Um, but we should see that magically uh, appearing 
in the NAS. You can see sort of it started riding to the NAS right now. And uh, this will take its normal time, but it, it should be uh, quite a good one. In our next video, we're going to look at how we're going to do a backup to the cloud. See you in that video.